G'day guys and welcome to Angus's World of Tanks replays. Um, got something a little special for you today. This one is a replay of the Conqueror. If you have a look at this tank, doesn't she look mean? This is a pretty fearsome looking machine. Um, and unfortunately it sort of doesn't have the armor to match that look because, uh, yeah it's got pretty thin armor basically um it's armor it's got the same hull as the canavan and the turret is weaker than the canavan's turret so basically it is literally literally weaker than a than the tier 8 equivalent but i'm here i'm top tier on himmelsdorf and we're in an encounter game so i'm gonna head down maybe have a look at um see what sort of wanders into view at the cap so I'll just speed it up a bit till something actually happens right here we go coming into the train station and you can see there's an awful lot of enemy heavies up on the hill there and we've got a few light tanks showing themselves over here a couple of AMX's tier 8 light and ELC Right, Rheumatol gets a nice hit in on the uh, AMX 1390. Right, so I push probably harder than I really need to here, but anyway, yeah. So we've got an IS-3 coming up the road, and having a look up on the hill there, I thought my intention was to help out on the hill, but it turns out it's not necessary. So instead... IS-3 comes around, BAM! Into the rear end, set him on fire! Very nice! Okay, he comes out again, and... Does it again! Ah, and he... All that damage actually, uh, yeah. Someone from the hill actually killed him. So, yeah, as you can see, I was just checking the hill there, right? I was checking that ELC, no good. Zoom in on the Rheinmetall, no, nothing. E75, no, nothing. As you can see, I'm trying to work out exactly what to do next. Because, well, it's not actually very clear to me. So instead, uh, well, they're all up there. They're all on the hill. So I come through the park. Uh, and I'm actually pretty safe here because, you know, there's an E75, Rheumatol Borsig, uh, down on that road, and that's about it. Right, let's pop through here, zoom in on the Rheumatol, there we go. Now, switch to HG. Okay. And... Wait for him to pop out, and can we get him again? He hits me! But I hit him for 489, somebody else hit him at the same time as well, the T95. T95 has a damn good game here. Okay, T95 is saying, right, we've lost the hill, that's fine. Uh, okay, as you can see, I'm checking all around. Nothing there, just the E75. Now, I'm thinking about coming around behind the E75. Right, just mixing it up a bit. But then, a target of opportunity pops up. Hello! That'll be there, Artie. <laughs> not anymore, it's not! Okay, so that's my second kill. Alright, so I'm thinking about heading up to the hill to uh, get in behind, but I think that's a really dumb idea. So, I do actually waste a lot of time faffing about here, uh, being indecisive. So this is by no means a particularly well-played game, although things turned out well for me. Uh, so... Alright, decision's been made. Now, head back to the cap. Okay. See if I can take out that E75. Alright, he's been spotted by the Rheumatol Borsig again. Okay, he's obviously planted a big shot into the Rheumatol there. See, if I'd have been here earlier, I probably could have stopped that happening, but... The rear end of an E75? Thank you very much. And one more. No. Not going to reload in time. Ah. Borsi gets him. Nice. Okay. 
So, the guys through who've taken the hill are now pushing on through uh, basically our spawn zone. The Conqueror has stayed up there. I thought I'd have a shot at the Conqueror. And I completely miss. So, that was a bit of a fail. Right. So, we've got an Artie up here, and the Rheinmetall Borsig is still around. STI. Snapshot. Hits him. Nice. Alright, so what do we got? We've got an object 416 and I think a Carnarvon, was it just around here? No, an object 416 at least. Right, there he is. Oh, and a Tiger 2. Okay. I actually take a lot more damage than I need to here. And I'm side onto him, so that's not very smart. I hold up. I probably should have wandered back and then come forward again. So I hit the 416. Now I move back and I'm still taking hits. I'm um, taking hits from the Carnarvon and I think the um, Tiger. But that's what's wrong with a rear-mounted turret. Okay. He didn't have, a, didn't have a chance to bring his gun to bear before I killed him. Okay. So I'm on three kills, done 4,200 damage. And there's still another five enemies to go. Right, I'm spotted. So he's still down there. They're still there. Well, here comes the Carnarvon. Right. And the Tiger 2. They're both coming in. Right, there's an IS-8 over there as well. IS-8 is under attack. Looks like that was the M55. Okay, wow. Okay. So the Tiger 2 just got hit by the T95, which means when I come around, the Carnarvon is no longer pointing at me. He's looking at the T95. Perfect. Now... I know exactly how weak a Carnarvon's hull is because I've got one. So, yeah, straight in front, no problem at all to penetrate. IS-8 has a snapshot at me and misses. I, bang, don't miss. I have no idea how that went in, but there you go. So, the T-95 and myself actually really worked pretty well together in this game. Uh, basically, he took the left, the right, I took the left. And between us, we had it pretty well sorted. Ah, Artie kills the IS-8. Nice. There's only two to go. There's one Artie. And it's my opposite number, the Conqueror. Right. Even here, I do take more damage than I need to. So, yeah, like I said, this is by no means a well-played game, but it all worked out pretty well in the end. So I'm up to 5,800 damage. Alright, here's, here's the Conqueror. He's up there. Okay, he's looking at me. Ah! I hit him, but he's got the uh, Carnarvon's gun. He's got the, the f quick firing 20 pounder. And I really fail there. I could have killed him right then and there, but the T95 comes along. I'm actually come and hide, because I know the T95 can easily deal with him, then pop out. Too late. But uh, the idea was to hide until the uh, Conqueror focused on the, the T-95 and then pop out. But it's all good. We're capping. So the Artie will survive. And we're going to win. And I'm on 6,178 damage with four kills, which is pretty good. There we go. Enemy base captured. And ah, just found the, uh, the Artie. But the replay's over. So, let's have a look at the result slides. So that was my Ace Tanker badge. Uh, my Ace Tanker Mastery badge. So there you go. It um, wasn't, as you can see, the best game that I'd ever played. Um, it may not have even been the best game that I played ever played in the Conqueror, but that was my first Ace Tanker badge. That's uh, the damage that I just managed to rack up more damage than uh, any other game. Uh, yeah, so basically, I got 86,000 credits uh, and 2,000 XP. That's uh, not doubled, that's undoubled. Um, yeah, also um, a high caliber award. So that's the one where you do 20% of um, damage of the entire hit points of the enemy team. Uh, and get the highest damage. So as you can see, uh, yeah. 
experience. Yeah, uh, booch. there's a few things going on here. Um, so I got an extra um, credit, uh, crew experience coefficient for uh, that map. And, oh no, credit coefficient for that map and crew experience coefficient, uh, I think, if you do really well or something like that. Okay, um, next slide. 6,100 damage, which was well over uh, double the uh, next guy, who was Artie. Uh, next up was the Rheinmetall, and uh, after that was the T95, who actually played a really good game. Um, he was there when I needed him. Uh, so, yeah, without him, I would have been probably overrun uh, by the um, the Tiger 2 and the Carnarvon. But uh, there you go. Uh, finally, so I fired 17 shots, hit 16. I only missed the long-range shot on the Conqueror uh, with 16 penetrations. Uh, most of that was just plain old normal ammunition. Uh, you'll notice yet don't need the premium much, uh, especially at tier 9, uh, with this tank, which means, if we go back to the first slide, well, actually, no, we'll go back here, um, I actually made a profit of 70,000 credits in this tank. So this, as a tier 9 tank, <laughs> actually generates money. It's, yeah, really strange. Uh, so where were we? Uh, yes. So damage, I received 6,100 uh, I did 6,100 damage, sorry. I received nine hits, of which eight penetrated. So, yeah. Um, the Conqueror can dish out the damage, as you've seen. Uh, taking it, it's... Yeah, it can't take the damage. Its its role should be more as a support to the bigger and more heavily armoured tanks, um, which means when you rock up and you're top tier and everybody is screaming at you, go forward, go forward... Um, you're in a difficult situation. Uh, so, yeah, only one bounced. Potential damage received 2,200, uh, and it's got uh, 1,950 hit points. So, yeah, there you go. Um, spotted one, damage nine, destroyed four, 513 assistance damage. Yeah. So, not a bad piece of machinery at all, and not a bad game in that piece of machinery. Um, if you look down here, you can see my Conqueror is still locked out because I lost it in Clan Wars. Um, locked out for another 31 hours uh, when this uh, screenshot was taken. So that's really frustrating. Uh, but that'll teach you to go and lose a game at Clan Wars. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. And this is Angus signing off.